Hello, awesome people of YouTube. Ty and Nanya here, and today I am playing a reboot version of Always Sometimes Monsters. The only reason I'm doing a reboot version of this is because I really do love this game, and I really do want to do a series of this. I'm redoing it because when I first was doing it, it was like the sound quality wasn't that great. I really didn't want to post them up, to be honest. But I thought, you know, make a series of it and stuff, but I, looking back at it, that's why I just took them all down. I just wanted to really start over and do it the way that I really wanted to do it from the start. I did play some of this game afterwards, of course, you know, I did play more of it and, you know, I did some things in it, so it's not, it's like a half blind. I would be going into it like half blind because there's so many different choices, there's so many different things you could do in this game. This is a game that you could play over and over again if you want. You know, it could get monotonous, you know, some of those games do get monotonous even though they have multiple choices and multiple endings depending on the choices you make within the game. And, you know, based on the character too that you might choose because in this game, you could choose um, from several different characters, you know, you could choose a male or a female, but it's all different people. I just really do want to, you know, start this game again and... I know who I'm going to pick already, I just want to say that I don't know if I'm going to do any voices, I know some people do voices, and some of their viewers do like it, some don't, so I mean basically if you want me to do voices or something, you know, you can always leave a comment in the comment uh, section, if not, you know, I'm just going to use my regular voice, my sexy sexy voice, or, you know, I, I might do a voice for my main character, I don't know yet, I mean, I know it's gonna be a, a girl, of course. I, I want to pick her. She's, I think she's awesome. And I'm probably, I'm gonna leave her name. I'm not gonna name her Ty. I'm just gonna, you know, leave her name what it is. And I think that's about it. You know, I think that's the gist of everything. So I guess let's just get into the game again and start from scratch. If I can. Oh yeah, that's right. You don't use your mask. Use the keypad. You can use the, uh, your keyboard actually for this game. So here's this sexy looking dude. Question mark. <laughs> Exclamation point. Stop! Wait! Where the hell do you think you're running off to without me? I'm the boss. You don't make a move until I tell you what to do. Got it? Angry. Smart. <laughs> I thought I told you already. Once I'm paid, then we're through. I don't need you controlling me anymore. Ooh. Okay. More angry marks. No, you ain't finished working yet. There's plenty of people I still need killed. You don't get to say in anything until I decide you're done spilling blood. Hit me. You check that privilege at the door when you signed up for this job. Here, I make the rules. Here, I decide what happens. That's what you signed up for, right? Dot, 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 dot. And then I control the dude, so I'm walking away. I'm walking away from this bitch. Look at this angry bitch chasing him. Hey, what did I just tell you? You ain't going anywhere unless I say so. Bitch, I could go where I want to go. You ain't got control over me. You don't tell me what to do. You ain't gonna tell me nothing. And my black side came out. Sorry about that. <laughs> but uh, also, what I wanted to say too, real quickly, is with the videos, I, I felt they were kind of short because, you know, it is a very long game, actually. And I wanted to maybe make them a little longer because doing what I was doing, cutting the videos like that, it was just gonna take forever and I thought it was gonna be too many videos. That's also another reason why I wanted to start over. So I'm gonna try to make them a little longer. So I hope you guys don't mind that. I know some people like long videos, some people don't like too long videos, so, you know, but I'm gonna try to keep them, uh, you know, a decent time. I'm telling you, you're making a mistake. Don't do something we'll all regret. He made it sound like this dude has some kind of power, so I don't know what that was. And here's the mysterious person. Excuse me, sirs. Got a minute or a dollar? Hard times all around. <laughs> Smelly vagabond fuck, get the hell out of my way. We don't have anything for you. Oh, I've heard that one before. Probably from you too. Different day, different street. Who knows, maybe we used to know each other. Hey, can you imagine that? Winding up back here again? Goddamn schizo, are you fucked in the head? Get the hell out of my way. Right, we gotta keep things moving along. Before you go through, there's something I think you ought to take a look at. Gun, bitch! <laughs> what the hell is this? Well, you might say I've been expecting you. Does it feel familiar standing on this end of the barrel? Or would you feel more comfortable with your own price drawn? Go ahead. Oh, wait. Oh, excuse me, I said price. I meant peace. Sorry, sorry, sorry. There you go. That's right. 
aim it right between my eyes. What the hell do you want, you nut job? What do I want? I like playing games, don't you? What do you say to give giving me a spin, mine a spin? I don't know what this fool's smoking, but if he doesn't put that gun down right now, you pull you put a hole in his head. Of course, you can't hurry this along if you like, and we could all be done with this if you wish. Like any of this matters anyway. I want to tell you a story though, one about the many choices we all make. At the end of it, you can decide what to do. The only rule in the game, let me finish, no interruptions. Then the choice is yours. Or we could pull the trigger right now. Sounds a lot less time consuming, doesn't it? Either way, the choice is yours. Actually, if I did pull the trigger right now, what would actually happen is shoot the person, whoever the person is, and yeah, game over, automatically, of course. But uh, I'm going to listen, of course. And I think that's your main character, if I'm not mistaken. It could be your main character, it could be someone else, but I think it's your main character. But we don't even know who our main character is yet. I do, I, you guys don't yet. If you won't put that gun down, fine. Talk fast. It's not gonna happen that fast, buddy. There are many roads between yours and mine. But all roads start from the source. Party time, bitches, party time! You ever been dragged to a party by someone? What if that party was life itself? Led by the noise, barely waiting to take part. Uh, waiting or wanting? I don't know what I just read. <laughs> I'm looking at it, but you know. Did you ever have the choice not to go? It would take something miraculous to change you. But would you know the opportunity when it knocked? No, no, sometimes you don't. It's a missed opportunity, unfortunately. Fair weather friends are sometimes hard to sort. A man with opportunity to spare knows this best. Sounds like a quote somewhere. One such man of opportunity threw a party. He was looking for someone special, important. Not a lover, not a friend. He was looking for someone of substance. You're probably like a scapegoat or some shit like that. Whether it was the right choice or not, that's still up for debate. That night they toasted ambitious, uh, ambition, success, and more. Little did they know how steep the mountain was. And so I'm this little dude right here, this guy with the glasses and everything, and here's his wife over here. Come on, hurry up! I did you change your mind? She sounds like a bitch, so <laughs> I'm giving like a little bitchy voice. You can't invite all these people over and just leave me to take care of them, Larry. They're all weird. <laughs> Why can't you have normal friends? They're all work friends. Writers, artists, wannabes. You know, like the ones I was telling you about. Boss wants me to sign someone by next week, but I still haven't gotten a clue. I still haven't got a clue what I'm looking for. Well, just pick someone who's gonna do a good job. I don't want you getting fired over some fuck up. This apartment's way too nice for that. Yeah, okay, I love you too. <laughs> she's a little, she's a little, she cares about. She don't give a fuck. She don't give a fuck. Okay, so now the thing is, any one of these persons in here, aside from this girl who looks like Miku Hasune, you can't pick her, because I say Miku Hasune because she has the blue hair. You can't pick her as a choice. But any one of these other persons in this room is your main character. And then when you pick somebody, they go out into the patio and then they pick their significant other and you could so it's cool that you could choose your main character and your significant other so so basically if you pick the man you could pick a female if you pick a man you could pick a man if you pick a female you could pick a man and if you pick a female you can pick a female too i guess you guys probably know what i'm gonna do already <laughs> but here let me show this miku hasune girl real quick hey you're the host of this party right yeah i am can i get you anything well, I was wondering if you had any unoccupied bedrooms around here. Uh, I don't think so. Why? Oh, no, definitely not. Oh, never mind. And she's pissed. <laughs> Dark Rifts bought his, brought his van anyway. Great. Uh, have fun. <laughs> That's my reaction to a little heart. Oh, I will. Like, she's trying to tell him something. You ain't gonna tell me nothing, bitch. Alright, so let's go to this girl. This is the girl I was telling you guys about. This is the one that I want to be on character. I think she's really cool. I don't know, I just like her for some reason. I don't know, she has. She looks like she has sass to her and everything. She has that cool little armband tattoo right there. And, you know, I like her plaid. I just like her whole atmosphere, her whole aura about her. I think she's really cool. Hey, Larry! Congratulations on the new job. 
Thanks, it's been a long time coming. Well, well earned though. What do you say to toasting? I've got this gin I want to polish off. Taking it easy tonight, only one drink. Gin does sound like a good choice. See, if I said maybe later that I could go around and pick somebody, and they each have different drinks, but this is the girl I want to pick. So here we go. All right, let's drink. Give me a second to run to the patio. There's someone I want you to meet. Always happy to meet the ball and chain. <laughs> Don't go anywhere, Larry. I'll be right back from the patio before you know it. Oh, also, I think you don't actually have to pick a significant other. I think you could just do it alone. I'm not sure how that story pans out because as the story pans out, I don't want to give too much away because you guys don't know the game or you didn't even watch the older videos, you don't know. As the story pans out, you're supposed to, you know, do something to gain, let's say, your trust back from your significant other. So I don't know if it makes a difference if you don't have a significant other or not. But I'm going to get her girlfriend. And I know exactly which girl's going to be. This one right here. This cool emo looking girl. Hey, did you get a chance to talk to Larry yet? Yeah, I just spoke to him. See, if I say he's waiting on us, then that's the girlfriend. If I say he's waiting on me, I could still go around and pick somebody else. But this is, this. I just want to cut to the chase. So, he's waiting on us. We gotta go though. He's waiting on us. We're going to toast the bottle we brought. That's amazing. What are we, what are you waiting for? This is the perfect opportunity to bring up that book you and Sam were working on. Uh, droplet. <laughs> Sweat droplet. Do you think Sam will mind me pitching our book alone? I mean, I'd be kind of pissed if I was left out of the negotiations. You can worry about that later. If you don't get in there and butter him up now, you'll too be drifting forever. Or drafting forever, excuse me. I guess you're right, but we gotta make it happen first. Come on, you got the gift? Shit, we forgot to sign the card. Here, give it to me, I'll sign it first. See, this is where you can put in your own name or uh, just make up a name. But I found out her name is Joel. Yes, her name is Joel. It could be a nickname, it could actually be her name. I never actually heard of a girl's name being Joel. And it actually kind of threw me, actually, the first time. Because I didn't know if this was a woman or a dude, especially with the name Joel. So, but it is, this is a female. So, okay. Okay, my turn. See, I didn't remember her name, so I actually gave her another name when I was playing it before. But her actual name is Vanessa, so I guess I'll name her Vanessa. So, how do you spell Vanessa again? Okay, so let's go. Okay, I'm just gonna say okay. It looks like Vanessa, so I'm just gonna go with that. Sincerely, Joel and Vanessa. Interesting. Let me see that for a second. <laughs> ah, sounds perfect. Alright, Vanessa, let's go. Wait, kiss me first. Oh, smoochy, smoochy. Good luck. So then we just wander around. We could talk to somebody else and they'll say good luck and all this other stuff. Eh. And this is Dark Riff over here with his Russian Mexican friend. Well, if it isn't my favorite person in the world, how are you? Shit, Dark Riff, don't let Viper hear you say that. She'll be after my head. Speaking of my little she devil, have you seen her? We were supposed to go and uh, do something. And <laughs> drop it. <laughs> no details, please. Yeah, I saw her inside. Right on, thanks for the heads up. Hey, what are best friends for? Yeah, this is the Russian-Mexican dude. Hatton. That show last night was incredible. Robot suits? Amazing. <laughs> There's the two. The Russian-Mexican. That thing is hot and sweaty, but worth it. How'd we look? We sound okay? I would do like a Russian accent and stuff like that, but I'm not good at accents, so sorry. Yeah, it was great, don't worry. Thanks, how you doing? Eh, can't complain. That sounds like me every day. Eh, can't complain. I'm just trying. Where are you and Dark Roof up to? What are you and Dark Roof up to? Eh, I cannot read today. Nothing too much. You didn't tell me he was a musician. Idea. Dude, we should jam or something. Hell yeah, for sure. We could totally throw a killer show together. Alright, yeah, so they're friends now. They're best friends. Okay, let's just get out of here. So that's how you do it. networking and introducing people. Title card. Oh, he's so tight, my series. <laughs> All right. So Larry, before we toast, let me guess. You got a book you wanted to pitch. Just hear me out. No need, Joel. There's a reason I'm toasting with you. I've seen your stuff. You got talent, a lot of potential, but you're rough. I want to put you. I want to put a good word in with the boss. See if I, if we can get you in advance. 
that's that's crazy seriously thank you so much I'll get you something to show him in the morning this is too exciting let's toast heart on uh, to ambition to success to getting rich <laughs> to getting rich you bitch I'll toast to great partners world domination the future not screwed up I'm gonna say to not screwing up <laughs> It really didn't matter who set things in motion. The landslide had started long before that night. This version of the story needed a hero, though. Would this be the one? See, I don't know what happens if you say no. I guess he would pick someone else or something. I don't know, but of course I'm going to say yes, because this is my character. This is my person. One year later. Time flies when you're having fun. Ghost Town Apartment. Created by these people. These people are geniuses, actually. I love these guys. Art by these people. <laughs> eh, knocking on the door. Music by those people. <laughs> oh, if you noticed that I had, I think, I think actually the people who were involved in, oh, excuse me. Choice is an evaluation of cost and benefit. Circumstance dictates the evaluation. Consequence takes care of the rest. In this system, there can be no right or wrong. Hmm, interesting. Uh, what I was just gonna say, the people responsible for this game who created the game and everything, they put their names for the characters in here, like Donovan, Hatton, and all that other stuff. I noticed that actually a while ago too when I was playing it lastly. What time did I get in last night? Question. Shit. Looks like my pebble sleep monitor got reset. Pebble, right? That does said pebble. I gotta get to sleep when this thing tells me to. I was halfway to earning my one month criteriation master sleep achievement something. I don't even know what that is. Let me just cycle through the modes uh, and reset this thing. So I'll just, you know, press the button. There you go. It's all set. Should be set. There you go. All set. They say the longest journey starts with a single step. Alright. So, anything here? A bunch of old dusty books I never read. Oh, that's where I put that dollar. You found one dollar. Awesome. So I have a dollar in my pocket. Hey, I got a dollar in my pocket. A dollar make me holler, honey boo boo child. Yes. Oh, please don't, you know, charge me for that. <laughs> oh, no, that's turn on the light. That was turn off the light. Don't charge me for that honey boo boo child thing, please. Let's see. I think there's something over here. No, just picture that monster in the poster. It's not even scary. I'm gonna make her go take a shower. Shower yourself, girl. Get clean for the day. That's the only shower you're gonna get for a long time, actually. <laughs> Refreshing. Oh um, yeah, this game though, with its logic and stuff going on. Let's see. Oh yeah, let me do this because if I don't, then I'm gonna pass out. Nice. I've got. I still got some of those pizza pouches left. It's supposed to be, you know, like hot pockets, pizza pouches. You took three pouches. Cooking the rushes. Put in the microwave for two minutes. Let it cool for thirty seconds. Sure beats eating them frozen. What shall I microwave today? I'm gonna get your food out here. Oh, she has a sandwich on her. And we'll do this. How long she said for? Two minutes. I'll do all three of them actually, so you know to have the food. Your pizza pouch is ready. Cause you actually need it for um your stamina here. See your stamina bar over here. And you know, if you I guess if it's low like something happens, I'm not I forget exactly what happens, but yeah, go back. Alright, so I got all the pizza pouches now. So let me see what this is. Let on this one. Looks like there's a few notes under my door. Attention. Tenant of apartment 104. Or 104. Your rent has not been received as of this notice. As a result, and according to your lease, this balance must be paid immediately. Or you will be evicted at the convenience of your landlord. Your current balance is $500. This entire balance must be paid immediately to avoid further action. This is a serious matter, and your urgent attention is required. Failure to act in a prompt fashion will leave you responsible for additional charges such as court and attorney fees. Your credit rating may also be affected. Please speak with the building manager as soon as possible to avoid further issues. Sincerely, manager. 30 days overdue. Pay up, deadbeat. Nice. It's a little note there, right there in the spot. It's always something, isn't it? Come to see if you wanted to get coffee, be bit work of the phoenix, but you were asleep. Don't be late, man. I vouch for you and my manager hates slackers, Dark Rift. 
Well, at least I've got a job for today. You grabbed your pumpkin. And you grabbed your bank card! And she's filthy rich. These lamps even- these lamps don't even work. This building's a joke. Oh yeah, you have to search the items too. Like these little pots and everything because there's these- What a lovely fake hat. There's these little figurines called hero figures that you have to collect throughout the game. You can sell them at pawn shops, but I don't know if there's like a specific reason to collect them all and keep them all. I don't- I don't know yet. Uh, let's see. Actually, here's- let me, let me just- Let's look through a keyhole. Yeah, sure, why not? Might as well take a look. Yeah, let's be nosy. Yeah, oh, well. Yeah, those two people are having fun, aren't they? Just- just an afternoon soiree. Just an afternoon rendezvous. Just a little afternoon delight. What's going on in her? Yes. Might as well take a look. Yeah, she looks like all much like let's do this. And this person's smoking a bong. Awesome. Why not smoke early in the morning or afternoon, whatever time it is here in this game? Manager Katie with four real flowers. No, that was it. Here's this little lady. Where is it? I know it's in here. Excuse me, Miss Tilwilliger. I used to, I was saying Tilwilliger. I almost said Tilwilliger again. <laughs> oh, pardon me, Joel. Am I in your way? I got so distracted looking through my purse from my little calendar. There never is enough time in the day, you know. Yeah, I know what you mean, because, you know, I want to be nice to old ladies. I know exactly what you mean. There's never enough time to do everything you want to. Heck, I don't even have enough time to pay my rent these days. I seriously think I'm done for this time. Where's your roommate? See, you see, if it was a dude, they would say boyfriend, but you see how they do that? It's like, I don't know what to say, dot dot dot, roommate? And that's, that's, that's how they used to cover things up back in the day, when you were living with a female friend. Things, uh, didn't work out. It's just me now. That's a real shame. You're such a good kid. Tell you what, if you need some money, why don't you come by my place later today? I'm hosting a little get-together tonight, and the place needs to be spotless. It'd be lovely to have some help. And I'll think about it. You say I'll think about it? Or, thank you. I'll say thank you. Thank you for the offer. I can use all the help I can get. Well, you know where to find me. Just come by any time. Don't wait too long, though, or I'll get it all done by myself. Have a great day, Joel. I hope you find what you need. Aw, cute little lady. But I don't want to leave her hanging like that. This is the lamps. Yeah, I don't want to leave her hanging like that. I probably will go help her, even though you should probably go help Dark Riff. And you probably could make a few bucks there, too, but... I think, yeah, you basically can only choose one or the other. Cheap-ass landlord. That light's been a problem for months. Alright, so, I think there's a hero figure here. Yep, there you go. You found an indie hero's figure, number 24, sorcerer. Anything in here? No. Nah. Oh no, turn off the light, turn off the light! Turn off the light! I don't think it makes a difference, actually, because I think he sees you anyway. Fine, yeah. Actually, I haven't played this game in a while, so... It's not like the landlord's on the phone. With the lights off, I might be able to slip out of here, undetected. Yeah, open up the box, why not? On the side of the box, yes. There's nothing in here. Ah, fuck you, bitch. Nah, you bitch! Hold it, you mean, you punk! You really think I wouldn't notice you just because the lights are off? I had that clap on, clap off thing installed last week. <laughs> oh, he's angry. Just where the hell do you think you're going? You're in a lot of trouble, punk. You're a home on lay on your rent, and I'm not in the business of sheltering deadbeats. Are you gonna pay me what you owe, or am I going to have to toss your ass out on the curb? Uh, you're serious about evicting me, huh? Uh, let's see, should I say don't worry about it, or give, uh, give me time? I just need some time. I'm waiting for my check from the publisher. As soon as it arrives, I can pay you. See, this is all, like, European and stuff, because the way they write checks. See, in the States, it's... C-H-E-C-K over there and like the UK and stuff, that's how they spell check. Look, the check's going to be here soon. It's got to be here soon. Just give me until when the mail's been delivered, okay? I don't care if you gotta get some greasy businessman to eat sushi off your body. <laughs> you're out of time, little China girl. Oh, they're so, they're so racist. Oh, you're so racist. Uh, oh, she's Asian. <laughs> I didn't even know that. Oh, yeah, that's right, she's Asian. That's kind of- that's racist. I think, uh, depending on the character you pick because of their ethnicity, you'll probably say something racist. I mean, that's just how I'm figuring. I only picked, like, two characters ever when I was playing this game, so... I don't know. Pay me 500 by the end of the day, 
or you can consider yourself officially homeless. In fact, you know what? Hand over your key right now. You can get it back from me when you pay your bills. Are you going to give me that key or what? I know you've got it in your pockets. You really want me to hand over my key? Eh, you know, either way, it doesn't matter. Um, I do want to try to make the $500. I've never been able to make the $500. The two times I played this in the beginnings, I could try to figure out a way to make $500. I think I know a way how to make $500. I'll just give him the key, though. Fine. I think I have it on me somewhere. And yeah, just give him the key. Hand it over your apartment key. Come see me when you got the money, and I'll let you back into your room. See you later, deadbeat. Yeah, motherfucking old bitch. What a fucking asshole! 500 by the end of the day. I can do this! I already got work at the Phoenix, or I can go help Miss Tewilliger. Time to get to work! I really don't want to get evicted, and I really don't want you out of the streets again either. <laughs> dubstep! Dubstep, dubstep, I can't do dubstep. <laughs> hey, Joel! What's going on, girl? I'm good, Bellinger. Hanging around like usual, I see. I've got no need to walk around when I can see the whole city from right here. Sounds productive. <laughs> Very productive. Well, I've got to hustle. My landlord wants 500 by the end of the day, and I don't know how I'm going to get it. Dang, that sucks. Well, I'm broke, so I can't help you with cash. I did find this rare indie hero figure in the trash this morning while I was digging for breakfast. Uh, well, you gotta eat sometime. It's probably worth a few bucks if you want to pawn it off or you could try and get all 60 of them like me. Bellinger gave you gold gob claws the elder. Thanks, Bill Belly. <laughs> At this point, anything helps. If you ever get lost, come see me. I know these streets like the back of my red golf shirt. And it has like mustard stains or something on it. <laughs> okay. So what I could do now is try to look in the trashes, trash cans, and stuff like that. And see if there's, you know, anything here. Here's this fountain here. Yeah, no, no. See, you don't throw dollars into the fountain. You throw like quarters, nickels, pennies. Not, not a dollar. And I need, I need every freaking cent I can get. Take it or leave it. Take it or leave it. Take it or leave it. Eh, I don't know. I, I think I'm gonna leave it. It's that old guy's, um, it's that old guy's, um, lunch over there in the corner, the old homeless man. But if you take it, you give it to the dog that's down the street, or I can just buy one later. So, I'll just leave it. Probably a wise decision. Thank you for not eat, taking my lunch. There you go. Now, in this place, says Vagabond Dog. And this place is where the creators come and, you know, they, they made this game. They made Always Sometimes Monsters. A robot cat from the Vagabond Dog hit arcade game, Cold Line Torne uh, Toronto. Interesting. Here's this dude, and he's just talking to this dude. Hey there, name's Nigel. Do you work here? Uh, no. I just kind of walked in. I've been looking for the guys that run this place. I heard they've got a neat little game idea they've been making. Yeah, I can't help you with that. I'm just passing through and, and wandering into any building I can. <laughs> yeah, just like the girl, they just wander in and collect stuff, you know, like in the old RPG games. They're probably down at the coffee shop. If there's one thing that's certain in life, it's the game lovers, the game developers love coffee. I mean, who doesn't like coffee? I mean, seriously, who doesn't like coffee? I mean, I know there's people who don't like coffee, but I love coffee. I love iced coffee, especially. Uh, it's a broken water cooler. What kind of company has a broken water cooler? Low rent indie hipsters. And yeah, I think that's about it. There's some games here and stuff, and there's a. And that this is. Oh, cool, cool! I found a figure. Oh my god, I found a figure. From, uh, Gods will be watching. Oh, they did make that game. Gods will be watching is another game. I actually want to play this soon. It's another. It's like a, it's like another choice based game, and I guess. A vagabond uh, dog did create this that game too because the gods will be watching is it looks similar to that of always sometimes monsters so let's see there's a safe here actually I know the number to the safe but I don't want to do it because last time I did it and I opened it up I took the money and the game ended and the reason why there's a message that comes up that says that says that it because you took the money this game does not exist because vagabond dog is the creator of Always Sometime Monsters, and without that money, they can't go ahead with the game. So this game would cease to exist. So that's a really clever, 
like little Easter egg kind of hit thing, I guess. You know, I, I guess some. Um, let's see. I think this is the bank. Yeah, this is the bank. You can go to the ATM, take out whatever money she has. You can talk to this guy. Hello, man. Welcome to Na Nation's Bank. Nation's Bank. <laughs> How may I help you today? I'd like to withdraw some money or a check on my account or something. Oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. Due to budget cuts, any in-person banking is now limited to check deposits and raising your interest rates. Ah, nice. Feel free to visit any of our conveniently located ATMs anywhere in the city for all your banking needs. Hopefully, you will you know your PIN. Thanks. <laughs> That's my reaction. So they can't help you. Just go to ATM. 1119. Still my PIN. I should change that sometime. Don't need to think of her birthday every time I check my bank balance. Bank card. Uh, yeah, that's a weird digit too. I never got the 119 thing. Like, how does that work as a birthday? I, I, I don't know how that works as a birthday. Welcome, Joel. Checking balance. You're heard about 13 bucks. Yeah, of course. Yeah, let me withdraw right now because I need the money. I'll just take it all because I might have to buy something later or something. I don't know. So I got 14 bucks now because the extra dollar I found in her uh, apartment at the uh, couch. So exit and let's get it going. See what else is going on over here. Where am I supposed to go again? I forgot. Oh, that poor little dog. Let's try and find that dog some food. Yeah, I'll do that later. Hey girl, you admiring my ride? Yeah, it's a pretty sweet truck if I do say so myself. Maybe we could take it for a spin together sometime. <laughs> Yo, hit me up later. I gotta go. They're at the coffee shop here. Here's this guy. You can talk to him. It's like, hey there, pretty lady. Got a second to invest in a sandwich? I'm trying to focus on a sandwich. I haven't eaten in at least five days. Actually, I'm getting hungry myself. Get a sandwich. Here you go, pal. First sandwich on the house. Gave the man a sandwich. Hey, thanks a lot. Idea. If our minds are constantly reworking themselves with every new experience, are you the same person? I started asking this question too. What? I, I don't know. I, I, I kind of I got a little brain freeze right there. Well, not brain freeze, but brain fucked, I guess. <laughs> and no idea. Is there an indie figure in here or anything? I, I gotta check these places too, because there's indie figures everywhere. Here's these guys. Dude, did you see that crazy guy pacing outside? He's here like every day. We should put him in the game. Invest in a sandwich. Dude, we're here every day. We should put ourselves in the game. <laughs> Whoa, meta. Hey, check it out. I want another free coffee. That's like my third this week. Woohoo! Knock another two dollars off of our production budget. Man, I wonder how many coffees we, we've had make, making this stupid game. <laughs> Did you see the quest I added about the dog? Yeah, I don't get it. Yeah, you're a cat person. I guess you wouldn't. Dude, what the hell did you do to that logic over here? Seriously, this makes about as much sense as putting mayonnaise on french fries. I'm a writer, not a programmer. Besides, some people like mayonnaise on their french fries. Doesn't mean I understand it, dude. Don't worry, I'll clean it up. Actually, people mix mayonnaise and ketchup to make like a little dressing. And they dip their fries in it. It's like it turns orange. I don't know. That was a thing I learned in school. It's a Russian dressing, I think. Do you think they'll ever kick us out of here? I mean, we're ne we never leave. <laughs> no way. We're their best customers. Hell, we're probably a tourist attraction by now. Why would people flock to see two guys working in a coffee shop? That makes no sense at all. You know what? Never mind. I better leave him alone. And uh, can you talk to the other guy? Dude, we can't just have a tutorial that explains how to play the game. That's not how life works. They won't get the message if we spoon feed them. Alright, if you say so. All I'm saying is that it might be a little more, you know, fun if people actually know what they're doing. We can't get it across in metaphors, man. We can get it across in metaphors. Metaphors! <laughs> That's probably why this game does not have a tutorial, because when I first played this game, I had no idea what to do. I was pressing buttons everywhere until I figured everything out. Now I'm kind of like a master, I guess. I don't know, man. Do you think people will even think this thing's fun? I mean, the whole thing's about everything you want being unattainable. I don't know. What else are we gonna going to do, though? Make something dumb for MySpace. <laughs> MySpace book! 
We're all three biggest social, well, all used to be biggest social networks combined. MySpace, Facebook, and I don't know if there's anything else out there. And <laughs> some other stuff. God, I hope not. So they're basically, they're basically talking about always oh, sometimes monsters are sort of bashing it, but not really. This art is shit, man. People aren't going to like it. I know it. Everyone's gonna, is, everyone's going to laugh at us. And I don't worry about that stuff. They'll either find the value in it or they won't. Don't sweat the small stuff. I guess. Still, it would be nice to have some actual art talent. Eh, I don't think the art's bad in this game. Man, I think I'm going crazy. I'm starting to see the game in every <laughs> everything around me now. Me too! That's a good thing, right? I don't think... I don't know, man. I don't know. How much self referential humor is too much? I don't think people will even get half of these jokes. Don't worry about it, man. We've got to make ourselves laugh first. Oh boy, I'm laughing right now. Haha! <laughs> I better not disturb him anymore. Could go get a cup of coffee or I could just keep going on my merry little way here. Let's see, let's see. I'm, I'm, I, yeah, that. I'm either gonna go and here's this dude. Yeah, you're blocking up the whole street with that fat ass or you're a movie fatty. You ever heard of a toothbrush? Oh boy, is that your breath smelly? Mm, yikes, sorry, your face so ugly scared me. That bitch, I wanna smack this motherfucker in the face. I really do, I wish she was right. And you know, motherfucker, you fucking bitch. Um, let me see. Actually, I go in here. I think there's a yeah, there's an indie figure in here somewhere. It says Cookie Factory, but this place is weird. I, I never knew what this place was. You found indie heroes figure for one. There you go. See, found it. Check this out. Oh shit! <laughs> Get lost. Actually, now that I think about. It, I think this place is um where you bring if you have a dog. It's for boxing your dogs and stuff like that. Actually, it's like that's why it looks like that. Because that dog that you find in the alleyway, you can either return it to its owner, or you could use it in the boxing to make some money, which is ridiculous. It's, it's abusive, actually. I don't condone that at all. This is the hottest club in town. I've been lined up all day long. I'm not moving for anything. So that girl's useless. You talk to this girl, though. She's all, all up on your character and stuff like this. Here, hey, kitty. You look like a girl of good taste. What do you think of my new dress? It cost me a fortune, but I think it's hot. Looks great. Yeah, it looks great. Definitely worth the money on a body like that. Ooh, nice one-liner. Oh, I like the way you talk. My name's Haley, by the way. So, um, I was looking for someone to do me a favor. I don't see why it couldn't be you. Well, that depends on what you need. You know, Dirty Dawn over by the pawn shop? I heard he's got these tabs happy pills like I think he calls them they make you feel like you're having the most orgasmic sex with God <laughs> sounds intense if I give you fifty dollars could you go pick some up for me I know it's silly but I don't want to lose my place in line there is no free line there are only two people out there that's the thing there are just only them two bitches out there there's no one else out there it makes no freaking sense but yeah I'll say deal Alright, deal. How many pills should I ask for? That should buy you 10 pills, so I'll bring them all back. I might even share with you if we party later. 50 bucks. Alright. Sounds easy. I'll be right back. Wait, there's one more thing. Don's got some trust issues. You're gonna need this. Haley gave you a sealed envelope. Uh, what's this? Or what's that? It's just a little message from me to him. You know, to prove you're cool and not a cop and all that, right? Well, obviously. Keep it sealed until you see him or he'll be suspicious. When you get there, open it and read it out to him. Simple stuff! Gotcha, you have fun waiting in line. I mean, really, she could've just went for herself. And actually, I could just run off with your money, bitch. I mean, that's that's more money in my pocket, so... Fuck yeah. But, you know, I'm a good Samaritan, even if I'm buying drugs. I'm gonna go buy the drugs for her. Hey, hey! Welcome to Dirty Dodge Popcorn Stand. Where I sell fresh popcorn and absolutely nothing else. You sell anything else? So, uh, you sell anything else? I've got this envelope or something from this girl I'm supposed to be seeing you for. Well, what are you waiting for? Open it, damn it! You open the sealed envelope. It says... Dot, dot, dot. Well, go on, read it! Start singing. I like big butts and I cannot lie. 
you other brothers can't deny that when a girl walks in with an itty waist and a round thing in your face, you get sprung. Wanna pull up tough cause you know that butt was stuffed. Deep in the jeans she's wearing. I'm hooked and I can't stop staring. Oh baby, I wanna get with you and take a picture. Oh, wait, sorry, sorry. I just said just so, just so, just so. I love that song, Mr. Mix Love. Oh my god, it's one of my favorite songs. Oh my god. Like, LMJ, Becky, did you see her butt? <laughs> Whoa, buddy, that's enough. You don't have to sing the rest of the song. <laughs> I'm just, I just love that song. I know why you're here now. What the hell is that? Oh, all my orders come as hip hop lyrics. Helps keep the cops from figuring things out. That sounds like you need some happy pills. Now, what's a girl like you need happy pills for? They're for a friend. I need 50 bucks worth of them pronto. No problem at all. I was just thinking though, how would you like to save 30 bucks? So, same number of pills and everything. The math doesn't add up. What's the catch? Oh, nothing shifty or anything like that. They're just local Austrian pills. Artisan. Artisan pills? Or ar I, I don't know. There's an ar bleh. They are made from eco-friendly toxins. I'm no genius, but I'm pretty sure that toxins aren't all that safe for human consumption. Yes, but I also said eco-friendly. Like, that makes such a difference. It totally balances things out. Well, I guess that makes sense. So what it'll be, loyal patriot? 50, spend 50 bucks and get what you asked for? Or spend 20 and save the whales? Just give me the good stuff. And I'll take the good stuff. I don't know how my friend feels about whales. <laughs> well, to each their own, I suppose. 50 bucks for the drugs. Don gave you some head pills. Mosey on my merry little wet hair. And go back to that happy girl. So did you get the stuff yet, honey? I want to try a happy pill before the show. Yeah, I, I got you the good stuff. You're going to be tripping balls for sure. I love this game. They just have like no filter at all. They're just out there and crazy with all the stuff they say. Woo, I feel all warm and fuzzy. I just want to touch you all over. Why don't you take the spare key to my flat? Maybe you could get up to something after the show. It just It's just across the street, so you can't miss it. <laughs> I'll think about it. Don't keep me waiting though. I want to tear into you. Rawr. <laughs> you see Haley's next door key. Yeah, but I think I'm gonna leave it at this point. I think there's like one or two more uh, figures I have to try to get from around here. You can't actually go into her apartment now anyway. And you messed up thing is if you get kicked out of your apartment, you can't even go into her apartment to sleep the night. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna leave it off here. I think I'm gonna go help Miss Twilliger though. Mrs. Twilliger, excuse me. So I, got, I hope you guys enjoyed it so far. Like I said, I want to try to make the videos a little longer because this is a long game and we haven't even scratched the surface yet of all the craziness. Feed the ego by liking, commenting, and sharing with your friends. To further feed the ego, please subscribe to me and check out my Facebook page, Google Plus page. Links will be in the description, of course. And check out the Gaming Vigilantes on Steve. And I will see you guys later. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye.